Military and civilian CIOs will lay out their strategies for innovation at VMware's Public Sector Innovation Summit. It's happening April 14th at the Ritz-Carlton Pentagon City. Jennifer Cronus is Vice President for Public Sector at VMware. Jennifer, welcome. Thanks for joining me today. It's great to see you again. You're new to VMware. What attracted you to the company and what they do? Yeah, well, thank you, Francis. It's it's great to be here. And uh, yeah, I'm you know I'm just less than a month into my uh, VMware journey, and I I joined VMware from uh, Verizon, where I led the public sector business there, and then previously at AWS, where I led the DoD business, and spent a long time at IBM. And what really attracted me to VMware is all of the transformation that is underway at the company to really help customers in their multi-cloud journey which uh, I know firsthand is super important to every single customer in the public sector. And you know, we like to say at VMware that we're kind of in chapter three of our history. Chapter one was really becoming the leader in virtualizing servers and, and laying the foundation for cloud. And then chapter two was broadening that across the entire data center with the software defined data center concept. And you know, now we're in chapter three, which is really, uh, helping our customers in their journey to multi-cloud, which is important to every single one of them. So I'm just really excited to be here, uh, to lead the organization, and, and to have the opportunity to engage with our customers at this upcoming summit. What's the opportunity that you see in that chapter three for your customers? What will they gain from what you're doing in that chapter? Um, what's the potential they can realize? Yeah, well, you know, every single one of our customers in the public sector is dealing with so much change right now. I mean, I think we've all seen this personally throughout the pandemic uh, with the move to, you know, working and enabling a distributed workforce and doing that securely. Uh, you know, they're also dealing with multiple mandates around cybersecurity and, and digital transformation. And what we have found is that, you know, all of our customers really based on the experience throughout this pandemic, 70% of them are actually accelerating their digital transformation journey based on their experience uh, in this, you know, the last two, two years plus of the pandemic. And what we're really excited about doing and what VMware is leading the way in is, you know, we know that all of our customers are moving to the cloud uh, and they're moving to the cloud quickly. And, and a component of every customer's digital transformation journey and, and cloud strategy is how to enable multi-cloud. Uh, and so what we're really, really excited about is how we can help them do that and be their partner in doing that and also help them do it securely and help them to manage this uh, you know, distributed and, and remote digital workforce. So really see a lot of opportunities for all, to help all of our public sector customers in that regard. All of the times that we've spoken over the years, Jennifer, you've always referred to the people that you work with in the public sector as partners. What's that partnership look like from your perspective now at VMware and how does that partnership work with a, a public sector customer partner uh, to enable their success? Yeah, well, you know, VMware has a really long history with our public sector customers, and we're really, really proud of everything that we have done to enable them to, you know, sort of lay this foundation uh, and, and help them achieve uh, mission outcomes and serve their constituents better. And we're really excited about now taking that partnership uh, with these really, really super important customers to the next level by helping them in their, you know, their multi-cloud and their digital transformation journey. So for us, it's really about, um, you know, meeting our customers where they are, um, providing the cross-cloud services that will help help them with a smarter path uh, to the cloud. And I'd, I'd love to give you just a couple of examples of some of the work that we've done with customers in public sector. I'll, I'll just kind of hit on three here real quickly. Sure. Um, one is the Army Software Factory, which I'm sure you've heard of uh, down in Austin, Texas with Army Futures Command. And what the VMware team has been able to do is really help them with a product we call a VMware Tanzu to help them to build uh, software much more quickly uh, and, and get it into production much more quickly, regardless of the cloud that they're using to deploy it. And so we've been sitting with them uh, side by side, uh, you know, helping to train soldiers actually to do the software development and get it into production more quickly. And that's army wide. So we, we really, we love that, that example. 
Um, the second is with the state of Connecticut Department of Family Services. So we've been working with them and based on the uh, you know, initiative uh, or the, the need during the pandemic to help uh, to, to provide support to their citizens remotely, we've really worked closely with them to enable a 24 seven contact center to support child welfare calls during the pandemic. And we've done that um, by helping them to employ some capabilities we have through our workspace tools uh, called Horizon and Workspace One. And then the final example I'll give you is just around uh, you know, the US Space Force, uh, that new uh, department of uh, the military and, and the guardians out there. So we've also helped them uh, deliver agile software applications uh, that will actually help uh, specifically with applications that are focused on uh, US Space Force. So the team is really, really uh, working closely with all these customers and many more uh, to help them in multiple ways with their, their digital transformation journeys and really just uh, proud to be part of that. Jennifer, you mentioned the Army and Raj Iyer, the CIO of the Army, will be one of the speakers at the Public Sector Innovation Summit on the 14th. The theme is a holistic multi-cloud for mission success. What do you want people to take away from this summit? What's the overarching message that you hope to get across? Yeah, well, I think there are, you know, the, the one message is that, you know, customers, all of our customers are moving to the cloud and in various stages of their journey to the cloud. And we really just want to show them how, how the VMware team uh, and our partners can help them make that journey smoother and make that journey smarter. Uh, by helping them get, get to the cloud more quickly and in a way that enables their mission outcomes and helps them serve their constituents. And uh, you know, at the summit, you and I are gonna be there together. I'm really looking forward to it. We're gonna hear from many of our customers. We've got customer keynotes. Uh, we've got keynotes from several uh, VMware leaders. Uh, and we've got a number of different panels focused on multi-cloud, on agile acquisition, on software development and on cybersecurity with both customers, partners, and VMware leaders. And we're just really excited to finally be back face-to-face -face, yeah. uh, and engage with our customers to, to help them understand how the VMware team can help them. Jennifer, I appreciate the invitation to come and participate in this event. I'm really looking forward to it. It will be great to see you and everybody else in person. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much, Francis. Really looking forward to it.